This week, we highlight another life well lived. We take for granted today that we can walk into a doctor's office and lie down in or just step into a machine that sees clearly into our bodies. But that concept was revolutionary when a doctor conceived of it a half century ago. In 1974, Dr. Raymond Demadian received a patent for a scanner that would become the MRI machine, an essential medical tool that can diagnose cancer and look into patients' brains, lungs, and bones without exposing them to radiation. A native of New York City who studied the violin at the prestigious Juilliard School before turning to science Demadian used magnetic resonance imaging to produce vivid images superior to X-rays or CT scans. He performed his first scan in July of 1977, and his company Phonar sold its first commercial scanner in 1980. To protect his patent, Demadian sued corporations like Johnson & Johnson and General Electric when they entered the market with their own versions of his machine. In 1988, President Ronald Reagan awarded Dr. Demadian the National Medal of Technology. The next year, he was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. That first scanner he built was sent to the Smithsonian. Demadian protested vigorously in 2003 when a pair of other doctors won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for their contributions to MRI technology. He acknowledged the importance of their work, but never got his prize. Demadian spent his career perfecting his invention, creating the stand-up and open MRI scanners to alleviate the claustrophobia caused by the original. Dr. Raymond Demadian whose machine revolutionized medicine by offering a window into the human body, died this month in Woodbury, New York. He was 86 years old. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.